All right, this is a response to OU Brad's uh, latest video where he was able to turn a phase shift oscillator into an LED um, light using just a AA battery and one coil and one transistor. And uh, about three capacitors and three resistors, he made a really cool little light and showed how it worked and showed how the phase shift oscillator works. So anyway, I started studying that, and uh, Jerry Ellsworth posted a really good video way back in 2010 on a phase shift oscillator. So I spent all day working with that thing and really enjoyed it and made a motor type of thing. It's a spinner thing. And I uh, worked with that all day, and uh, it's kind of a phase shift oscillator, but I think it's something else too. Um, but I'm calling it my one number one device. And the reason I'm calling it my number one device is it's got one of everything. It's got one magnet, one transistor, one coil, one resistor, one capacitor, one LED, one AA battery, and one Maggie. There's Maggie. And I'm lid motor, and this is the 2nd of June, 2013. And the heart of this, Jerry Ellsworth explained very um, well it's called a delay element. It's a capacitor and a resistance on this um, amplifier device, which is a transistor. And usually they chain these together. And if you go to OU Brad's video, you'll see how this is chained together to cause a delay, which changes the phase shift. It shifts the phase and causes an oscillator. Well, I'm doing it a little different. I've got uh, that going on with the LED. But I've also got it spinning up a ring magnet, and it's going to show how Maggie likes that, too. Okay, here we go. I've got a radio so you can hear it. It's one AA battery, and this is uh, going all the way back to my experiments with Slayer 007, where we tried to make stuff using one AA battery, and it's uh, back to the old Jewel Thief days. So here we go. Okay, folks, that is super, super bright, and that's coming off a AA battery. You notice it's working. No magnet, no Maggie. You can hear it on the radio, high-pitched. That's a picofarad capacitor to get the frequency way up. But watch what happens when I spin this magnet in front of the coil. Takes it a second to stabilize. There goes Maggie. on about 30 or 40 milliamps on a double A battery. I didn't make a circuit diagram for this. Um, what I would prefer people do is do the research like I did for what a phase shift oscillator is. Look at some of the great videos here on YouTube on how a phase shift oscillator works. And then just play with it. I had one heck of a good time playing with this, uh, this new circuit. And it's really a very basic circuit. You probably learned this your first year in electronics. But for some of the hobbyists like me that are um, having a lot of fun with this in their older age, um, or even if you're young, uh, this was a lot of fun. Highly recommend uh, building a phase shift oscillator. Thanks for watching.